What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. I'm going to try to crunch this down as much as I can in the most condensed video I could possibly do. My face is getting much thinner than it used to be. Congratulations, Jay. Give it up top. Oh shit. High five, my boy. You know what I'm talking about. So let me just give you a quick back brief. Kennedy Vapor has been around for a long, long time. Everybody knows what a Kennedy Dripper is. You know it's something is when a company is going to take the name of their company and name the dripper after that. And that's basically what you're known for. Everybody knows the Kennedy 22, the Kennedy 24, the dual post. Some people don't know the Trickster, but that is their rendition that I was not a huge fan of. The one where you actually kind of turn the cap to a the airflow that's some extra spit a little spit on the side one of the major reasons i loved the kennedy so much was the fact that you could drip where you want and you didn't have to worry about lining up the airflow it was just kind of a top cap and good and set it and forget it no matter how you put it on you were still going to get the consistent amount of airflow one of the first if not the first rda to actually have a dual airflow configuration on the bottom with the tube apparatus i think there was like one or two before that but they were kind of the pioneers of the bottom airflow and making amazing drippers. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. And I know they prided themselves in making American-made products. Well, this device, I'm not going to really go over it too much. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to show you. And then when I come back on top, I'm going to let you know my final thoughts on this. All I'm saying is that this box is $240. Two hundred and forty dollars and it is regulated so it does have a dna chip inside of it that is the heartbeat of this mod so without further ado i'm gonna bring it down and i'm gonna let you know what i got going on what flavor pennies you got on let's flip it kennedy vapor box mod it comes in this cute little leather satchel so to speak i guess it's white with a red not really sure what color that is but it's it does feel like real leather but i don't think it is open it up and we are going to be presented with the box mod there is no manuals there's no additional accessories although with a box mod i don't know any additional accessories you would get there's no screws there's literally nothing there's a spaghettio on my desk a spaghettio it's not really a spaghettio it's a red o-ring but i bet you thought it was a real spaghettio okay here we go this is the box mod we are talking about keep in mind that this was not used at all this is literally straight out of the package what you see right here i'm going to try to go over as much as this box i possibly can but there's not really a manual or anything for me to go by so let's go with what we're looking at on the front here we have this absolutely hideous gorilla with two eyes and a mouth I mean, I get it. The idea it does look like two eyes and a mouth. They could have done like a happy face emoji or emoticon or something, but this is absolutely gross. I guess the eyes are that different red, copper, bronze color. And your micro USB is typical micro USB and it's all on the top. The 510 is centered, has a bit of an awkward shape to it. It's like a trapezoid. Crazy part is, is when you look at this, these edges here are not actually flat. They're kind of rounded. And I do know that in fact, these were made in America, truly were made in America. 30 millimeter is going to fit absolutely fine on there. Wow, that's what a 30 mil is going to look like. Lots of room still, lots of room. I doubt you'll be able to fit a 41 on there, but we're going to go ahead and give that a try. It's going to look a little funny. You know what's crazy is uh, this almost works. Very little bit of overhang. This is a 41 millimeter. Keep in mind, guys, 41 millimeter. Did a review for this guy. I'll post a link right there. The Titan RTA by Steam Crave. So you get very little overhang on the bottom there very little bit of overhang here i know it looks like there's a lot but there really isn't it's just kind of there all right yeah it's really hard to tell because this the way the light is reflecting off of that makes it appear more than what it is then the front has got a decent size overhang i'd say three millimeters it actually could be used and you could get away with it however this box mod is extremely lightweight so the tank weighs a lot more than what this box does and this box is in fact made out of, I believe, 6061 aluminum, and it is in fact anodized. Okay, so let me go over some of the flaws that I have with this. I know me saying all this is gonna bring a lot of flack because a lot of people love Kennedy, and I get it, I do, I do. As always, I don't hold many boundaries. So on the side here, you see the scuff mark? Right, let's see if I can get right there. You see it? So no matter what I do, I cannot remove that. I don't know if that was a problem with the anodization. You can really see it there. It does not come off on me. Wet my finger. It's like inside 
the anodize. I mean, it's not that big of a flaw. It's very, very hard to see, but it does not, in fact, come off. I don't know the process of anodizing aluminum. Maybe there was something on this when they anodized it. Like, I, I'm not really sure. Then on the other side, we have kind of the same situation again right there. Now, I wouldn't be making a huge deal about this if this box mod wasn't $240, but this box mod is $240. It's near close to $300 with shipping. That's a little absurd. Look at those flaws. These guys, look Listen, you cannot feel this. It's like inside or underneath. Very awkward neck. But here's where the biggest problem I have. Nothing on the door, everything looks good. Now I have not used this device. This has not been used. Take a look at that right there. You see it? That's a gouge. There you go. Now, I know that these flaws are very, very superficial because if it wasn't the price that it is, then it shouldn't be a problem. There's a clip on the side of this door which goes between these little things. I guess we'll call them battery holder, grippy jammies. Goes between those and kind of snaps in place to hold it. There are no magnets on this device. It is literally all held on by clips. I don't know the longevity of that, but that is how it's held on. This is one thing that throws me off a lot. The tray looks like it would be something that came out of a Chinese box mod, literally. I mean, if we're gonna pride ourselves in being 100% American, why in fact do we have a battery train here that looks like it's made in China? I know someone could argue and say, oh, well, what's the big deal, Jay? It's, it's a battery train. Well, to me, it's a very big deal. A lot of these things that I'm pointing out are because this box mod is $240. And there's going to be a lot of people that are gonna buy this device because of the name that's behind it. I have a feeling that taking this apart would be a lot harder than what it looks like because there's no screws holding that in. And it kind of looks like by judging in the corner here, right there, it looks like it's kind of epoxied in, and right here. And all you see right here, that kind of looks like a scratch, but that's the epoxy. See it right here? Yeah. Yeah, it's glued in. I don't know how you would get to this chip. You would have to seriously strip that glue off. Whatever wiring I do see does look good, but I can't really see a whole lot as it's hidden by this tray. So I can't really take it apart to really inspect underneath it. Guys, I'm very let down by this. Series connection, positive up here. Keystone contacts, another problem. This is a huge thing that a lot of high-end mods do. They use this contact configuration. Rebel Vapes is a great example. A lot of companies do this just because this is the most accessible. The one issue I have with a lot of these keystone contacts is sometimes this part you see right here is not really bent in too well, so it will catch the battery contact. This is kind of bent in, so it won't catch it too bad. It is very possible that it may catch it and rip it. Battery is going to be positive side there. It goes in nice and easy. And then over here, it's going to be negative. So it is, in fact, a series box mod, just like that. Let's take a look at the preset, see if there's anything special about them. Nope. No, sir. They are all the stock presets that comes standard with the Evolve. I'm not going to go into how this chip configuration works. There's so many videos out there and tutorials how to work this and how to use this in eScribe. I'm, I'm just going to put a tank on the top of this and I'm going to bring it on top and let you know my final thoughts of this device. Back on the top with the WizTech DNA 250. Notice how I said WizTech because this looks like a hybrid of a WizMech and a Kangertech. They had a baby and this was their creation. And we are in fact working with 63 watts. Let me show you some of the vape production. I'm going to give you a rundown of this device. <laughs> DNA, so it hits good, it hits good, nice ramp up. So now we begin. Let me explain something to you. What the fuck? Like, what is going on right now? This gorilla, I have no idea what it has to do with the gorilla. It's not called the gorilla box mod, it just has a gorilla down there on the bottom. So you're gonna say that, Jay, all your opinions are subjective. It is what it is. Yes, I agree. Everything I'm saying is an opinion, with the exception of the flaws and the facts. Those flaws are on this box mod. For $240 of an aluminum box, it should be fucking flawless. There shouldn't be any marks at all 
anywhere on this. It definitely should not be dinged up. Did I mention that this thing is aluminum? The colors that they have aren't necessarily bad, but they kind of look like vinyl stickers. I don't want to say that's necessarily a bad thing because I don't have them in my hand to judge that anodization. However, what I do have is this black one, and this thing is flawed. Um, aside from the fact of the pure ugliness and the sheer grossness of this box mod, it is so not worth the price. I don't give a shit if a guy took a piece of metal, aluminum, took a chisel, took one of those wheels that you spin with your feet and made this. This is probably one of the biggest upsets that I've ever had in my whole vape review career. If you thought I got a lot of flack for the Drop RDA, which by the way, I didn't even rate bad, the Icon RDA, the Aura RDA, all of these drippers that were made by reviewers or designed by reviewers, I got a lot of flack. This is gonna be a whole lot worse because there's more people that follow this name, this company, than all three of those combined. This device though, I'm telling you right now, for $240, you have to be out of your fucking mind to buy this. It's so entirely basic, it's so entirely tall, it's so entirely ugly. This thing is atrocious. It's like the afterbirth of a box mod. It's disgusting. The chip that is in here, the DNA 250, is a good chip. It is. I'm not going to deny that the chip is a very solid chip that's in here, but it's very outdated for what it is. This has a six volt cutoff. Sure enough, sooner or later, there'll be a color screen that has more power. Maybe you should have saved this launch for that. But I can tell you guys that $240, you might as well just give me the money and I'll stick my shoe up your asshole because that's about, yep, up the booty hole. That's where we're going. Who's having a party? Look at the size of this. It's entirely too large. Uh, did I mention that this thing is tall as shit? It's tall. Let me give you something else that's a DNA that you would know. This is a Therion 75C. Therion 75C, keep in mind that this chip dimension is the same exact dimensions of this one. It just adds an extra button. Check out the size difference between the two of them. I get the argument. Someone's gonna say, well, the box is light. It feels cheap. It does. It does, I won't deny that. But there's no fucking way that this box is worth $240. Even at a wholesale cost, we're just gonna say, I'm not really sure what the wholesale is, but we're just gonna say this is $180 wholesale. That's still a ripoff. We'll say it's $150. It's still a ripoff. Get it, that this was machined in America. I believe me, I understand, I appreciate that fact. I can appreciate that someone took the time out to make this in America. What I cannot appreciate is someone that's gonna overprice a piece of metal block and tell me that this thing is worth $240. I don't appreciate that at all. That's literally taking advantage of consumers. That's what you're doing. Even if you factor in labor, man hours, the chip, you're still not gonna be anywhere near the number of 240. This is essentially the same thing as a Hammond box with a DNA 250. I guess the way that Kennedy Vapor is looking at it, and God, I, it hurts me so much to say this, but it's unbiased. This is what it is. I guess Kennedy Vapor looks at it like other companies do, and I'm not gonna mention any names because we're not here for them right now, but they like to just put a DNA 250 or a DNA 75 inside of a metal box and then label that for $500. That's kind of the situation here. At least with this, it's $200 cheaper, so I guess it's a little bit of a better deal. I just don't get it, dude. I don't get it. I really, and it's making me angry the more I look at it. Oh my God, such a fucking waste of money. I mean, I've, you guys have seen me buy some of the most ridiculous shit that I've ever purchased before. You've seen some stupid ass tanks, stupid ass drippers. This, in fact, falls in. Someone the other day on my live show said, Jay... Uh, what are the worst mods of all time? You know, what are the worst mods you've ever done reviews on? Well, need I not say more? I'll just show you a picture of this. If this box was $100, I'm sure that I would have a different opinion entirely. Or if it was $120, $130, $140, $150, even. $240? What the fuck? If I was to rate this device on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it like a two. I'm gonna give it a two because it functions and it works and it has Kennedy's name on it. The other points I'm all deducting is because it has Kennedy's name on it and this is a box that they created and called beautiful and gorgeous and a great creation. 
someone may need to rethink their situation because this is definitely not a good device. It's very, very high up there with some of the shittiest box mods I've ever held. Keep in mind, guys, we're talking about this because of the price tag, 240 If it was $100 cheaper, it'd be a different scenario. It's still not a good box mod, even if it was $80. It's not a great box mod. It's an aluminum box with a shitty-ass tray that's about as big as my penis. Okay, so my penis is small. Guess what? I've manned up. I've accepted it. Have you? Like, eh, shit. I've accepted it. Have you? No, you have not. That's not it. I know the flack is about ready to roll out, so I should just disable the comments. $240, you are out of your fucking mind. I've kept it real. Have you? Jay Hazel.